All right, let's get right into it, man. Frankie B. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's D D V Derek what's Bennett. What's, what's going that? on? What's going on? So today we're talking about how to get gigs, right? How to figure out how to relate you know, create relationships to figure out how can I start gigging more? How can I start getting out there more? So I started to answer the question. One of the Academy members had this question about how to develop relationships. Uh, the exact question, um, what are your thoughts on developing relationships for more gigs? Uh, maybe the answer is just to simply get better. <laughs> uh, so some truth to that. But, you know, I started to answer it, you know, and I, I gigged a while ago, like, way back so it may be different nowadays so i wanted to bring somebody on that i know who's gigging okay. right now like seriously gigging and uh who better to bring on than frankie b uh so just to talk about this subject because he may have a different light you know so what are your right. what are your thoughts man what are you doing now like what do you think about the whole idea as far as you know getting gigs and just being able to you know being called for something man um while you were saying that you mentioned one of the response was like, okay, maybe just get better at your craft or like <laughs> to be, to get better. Yeah. yeah. There's part two. Yes. Correct. But, um, man, I, I'll just use this analogy. I'll use this example. It's a lot of ball players. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Back in the era when, and one was a thing, you know, it's a lot of players <laughs> okay. that'll maybe school a lot of these NBA players, but the difference between the two is, you know, opportunity, uh, maybe who their agents were or what what have you or whatever the case may be it's a lot of cats that aren't in the nba that are killers like yeah. they're amazing at the yeah. crap so under, know, under, under, underground so, underground cats yeah, yeah, yeah. Under, a lot of underground cats yeah Absolutely. correct and i'd say that with musicians too there's a lot of musicians just because they're not on the scene per se oh no 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 no. they are amazing musicians you, ain't lying, you know what i'm saying man. but i think what the thing is is uh, and I've always heard this over the years. It's like, man, network, Frank, you got to network. You got to network. My very first time going to NAMM was in 2016, January of 2016. After that, I've always made it a point to go, not because I wanted to just be a part of the wild crowd and the woo crowd, you know, whatever they call it. And, and it's not, it wasn't that. Or, man, let me get an endorsement. Let me see how many, let me see how much of this free gear I can get. You know, no, it wasn't that at all. It actually was let's network let's connect let me get let me develop facetime with some people maybe yeah. find out let me come across some of my heroes or mm. some of those that i follow and, and look up to maybe they can share some light maybe they can impart in me you know something that i don't know that they Absolutely. know you know Absolutely. um there's a there's a there's a ig account and you know it too i forgot is it the music experience or whatever and we yeah, did this so, yeah there's a couple panel. of uh, a, yeah yeah we did a music panel we did a panel and it was a few of the bass players and drew goucher got on it etc and stuff and mm. we pretty much was talking a little bit about this too like like legit man like and you look at an andrew goucher who's got an extensive resume yeah you know what i'm saying so when i came across him on at nam at the mtd booth it was like yo first of all this is the andrew goucher this is somebody who's really paved the way for a lot of us. This is someone who's really actively doing it. So let me glean from him. Let Absolutely. me pull what I can. Let me, let even if it's a handshake, like, yo, man, so <laughs> like, what's good? You know, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I felt like for me, it's something that I've done over the years. Man, I've been playing bass actively now for over 20 something years. Yeah. You know, when I tell people that, they be like, wow, oh, so it makes sense why you're this good or that, that. Well, yeah, you, you just didn't okay, start yeah, yesterday. I, definitely put in some, I, <laughs> I put in some work, but man, honestly, the way I've landed these gigs, man, it's just, it's just, a, a, it's my, it's, it's my consistency. You know, when I landed the Fred seat, when I landed that position, that was back in 2017. And the way that happened wow. was over social media. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it was over social media. Yeah, being able um, to play for, John, for somebody like Fred Hammond just through connections you had through social media. Correct, exactly. Jesus. Right. And honestly, the story behind that is actually quite epic because one of the guys from the group commission, Keith Staten, lives in Orlando. Mm. And my boy D'Lo wanted, he's been on this, on this trend about doing a birthday bash every year or something. So one year, we decided to do a birthday bash, right? He wanted to do a birthday bash. And he was like, man, Frank, I want to bring in commission. Since Keith Staten is right here, man, this might not be far-fetched. Yeah. So of course we went and tried to work it out. Of, of course, Fred couldn't be there. Marvin Sapp couldn't be there. 
but we still had a success, successful night. But what Fred did, he submitted a video. And so that right there, just it, it that played a part because then months later, when Tom Joyner did the reunion here yeah. in Orlando at the Gaylord Palm, yeah. Fred reached out to me and Dave was like, wow. yo, I want you, I want to kick it with y'all. Let's have a conversation. And the rest was history. Boom. So really, <laughs> you know, for me, that's what happened. My connection with Fred happened via social media. My connection with John P. Key happened via social media. Matter of fact, I did a Lord, old video of Lord, you are good. Just a simple praise and worship segment, a praise and worship moment. I posted Lord, you are good. I was playing my old Fender Deluxe at the mm -hmm. time. I don't even have that natural ash no more. <laughs> right, right. But I had that joint. I was playing. And then next thing you know, John commented, was like, yo, this dude is funky. Like, choose this guy, yada, yada. And then next thing you know, one of my peers hit me, was like, yo, Fred, um, John P. Key's digging you, man. Uh, and I'm like, no way. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And yeah. so respectfully, like Morgan seat, but it was like, it was nice to see that, to hear that from an artist like, as such. Yeah, and all I did was step in. Whenever Morgan couldn't be there, I stepped in. For a whole year, all of 2017, I pretty much was on the road doing stuff with John P. Key. Fred started that year of October. Yeah, I did John P. Key's first hit January of that year, of 2017. And then I was still working and serving with William McDowell. My very first trip with William was to London. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. the way all that happened had to do with my connection with Mark because Mark was the music director for William McDowell, mm. you know, at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like he's he's just been served, working with William, traveling everywhere with William. Yeah. And that's how that went down. So, so you, you met you met Mark important. through you met Mac, you met Mark how? So I met I met Mark because we're in the surrounding area and mm. so it's like it was in inevitable. It's like right. I'm gonna run across them in music events and stuff. So I always saw him. And matter of fact, the church that I serve at now, going on eight years, um, Mark used to play there for about six years. Got you. Or so. You know. Got so you. we all came together like that. That's how Red Camp started. Mm. Me, yeah. Mark, yeah, yeah. Hilo. You know. Yeah. That's so. That's how that went down. So we just started. We developed the brotherhood. You know. Me and Dave. We've been knowing each other for like twenty some years now, right. or whatever. But. It, that's how that happened. So of course, Mark's connection with William got me connected to that. And then Fred happened via social media, John P. Key via social media. And then it went from that to people just started, you know, word of mouth. It's like, yo, Frank's doing this, Frank's doing that. So, right, can right. I get you to do this? Can I yep. get you to do that? Eventually you, know you just built a name for yourself to Eventually, where yes. everybody started to know and just like you became a household name. Like, all right, yeah, who who am I gonna call? Like Frank Bruno is already in that right. discussion. But, but Derek, guess what? The other thing to that is, how do you how do you constantly get calls and all that? You got to do your job right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like get you the call. But can you can you keep the call? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. there's people that's done it. It's like one and done. Okay, Absolutely. he did it. I will never call him again. Or, um, <laughs> right. you know what I'm right. saying? So it's right. like, well, right. how do you keep getting called? How do you stay yeah. consistent in that? Well, honestly, man, it's yo. I just made a post on Facebook. Learning music is one thing. Retaining it is another. Mm -hmm. Keep repeating that and let it sink in because, yo, I know a lot of cats that went down in flames oh, because yeah. it's like, yeah, I, I learned it. You did? Okay. Now let's let's run it. Let's run it from the top. I mean, missing all kinds of notes, just not. You know, so it's like, well, you got to figure this out. You don't have a whole lot of time. That time right. is ticking on the road. Oh, like You don't yeah. got much time. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 100%. it's like, you got to figure out a system that works for you. A method so i luckily because of the people around me and stuff like man i learned to to really hone in on that and that's really important to me you know what i'm saying learning music retaining it you know what i'm saying just be professional on the gig yeah whatever it is you know to constantly to keep getting called i don't want to just get called that one time and then it's like well you're disposed because you didn't really do a good job yeah you know what i'm saying yeah you got to keep it it's I like wanna... our names is important i want to go back to something i'm sorry to cut you off but i want to go back to something that you yeah. said so i don't want to get to um too far off because I know that that is where I'm going to go next is just how to keep that. But I want to go based yeah. more so on actually getting, creating those connections in the beginning. You said something in the beginning, as far as mm -hmm. uh, your story sounded like my story a lot. You might've, that might've been the first year or this year before I went to NAMM. Um, Man, and uh, that was, that was the same reason why I did this to create connections. I didn't care about getting any mm -hmm. endorsement deals and all that kind of stuff that everybody else was worried about. But I wanted to go where, 
where I knew the people that I looked up to, I wanted to go where they were. And for some reason, it seemed like they were all in the same place at the same time. Everybody was going to NAM. So I thought maybe yep. if I can just catch a glimpse of somebody or, you know, get a half a second with somebody to talk to, um, you know, I'll be able to just figure figure this thing out or just get something from that person. Like that. one of them was uh, shout out to Andrew Goucher. Um, also, you, right. mentioned, you mentioned Morgan Turner. Shout out to him. Uh, <laughs> monster bass players, by the way. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So but creating those those connections, even through social media, uh, I started to do that, and and almost the same thing with me. Like it just started blowing up. I started playing to people's, you know, covers or whatever that, you know, whatever whatever right, the case right. was. Yeah, I remember. And mm-hmm. ended up being, you know, we kind of started around the same time. It was funny. Yeah, I remember. Uh, <laughs> I remember. I remember seeing. I'm like, yo, this dude is really. That's how we himself. met. It went crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's how. Yep. That's exactly how we met. Remember, because it was the fifteen second videos we were only able to do. Yeah. Fifteen second videos, and I said, "Okay, yes, sir. I, I got to figure out how to how to smash this fifteen seconds in fifteen and, seconds, and, right? And fifteen seconds, man. And it was the craziest thing because you had to be very strategic in how you played and what you yes. did. Um, but yeah, we we that's that's a whole nother thing. So so right. social media is a big factor, especially now in today's game. And that's why I wanted right. to kind of bring you on because when I started gigging, it was years, decades, yeah, decades ago, really. Um, and I started doing that. It really, you know, social media really wasn't around. It wasn't um, the thing. Nope. It was It was kind of who I knew in the city um, to be able to just go to different things, just to play out, just to not be afraid of playing out. Um, yeah. Another thing that we used to do or used to have, I don't even know if they do them anymore, is just sheds or jam sessions or, you know, things no, like right. that. I mean, yeah. uh, open mics, you can call that too. But just trying to be everywhere where it's the same concept because trying to be where everybody's attention was. Nowadays, it's on exactly. social media. But back then, it was at these shed nights and it was at yeah, these yeah. Like jam sessions. Stuff. Absolutely. In person stuff. So, and I remember who you shout out to Kevin Camp and I tell everybody this story. Um, Kevin Camp, he plays everything. Kevin plays drums, right. bass, keys, everything. Right. But he lived in mm-hmm. Buffalo and really good friend of mine. And I went to a shed one day and I was the only bass player. And I was like kind of timid and kind of, I really didn't want to play. Nobody really knew me. He yeah. knew he knew me. He knew how I played. He said, dude, don't ever be afraid to play in front of anybody. Like play, do you, do what you do. Just from mm-hmm. that shed video, somebody recorded it. Just from that alone, I got so many gigs just from that video. So you never know what's going to happen, you know, when mm-hmm. you start to put yourself out there like that. I know it could be terrifying, but yeah, that that right there, I, I just wanted to be able to, to you know, piece that together because it's the same right. concept, but nowadays it's just digitally. You know, you can get the, the most attraction, the, the fastest, man. You got Instagram, you got TikTok, you got facebook you got twitter right. you got linkedin you got mm-hmm. everything so if you just hustle to put yourself out there and it may be easier for some other people because you may not have the same connections as as some you may be brand new to the game but find out where people are i went to nam and on i had no money at all whatsoever i spent my last dime trying to get to nam had no idea what was going to happen when i got there but i knew yes. for some reason i needed to be in that vicinity of other players i live in a city where you know it's so not too many guys like, you know, I live in Rochester, New York. Like people like you live in where? Like, is that Buffalo? No, it's not. It's not. Buff- like, so there's not right, too many. Right. It's not too many people here. So I had to make yeah. a name for myself and, and go where the people were. Um, but yeah, just t- to that point, man, I want you to speak on or I want to get your thoughts on constantly like you say you started going into it a little bit more constantly right. keeping the gig getting those calls what makes people call you back what do you think makes people call you back to back for these prestigious sort of gigs or these different you know um artists uh that definitely have made a name for themselves what makes people call you back yeah um i think it's uh, just a number of things um Obviously, you want to you want to you want to be professional mm. on the gig. Um, and one thing that I learned too is, it's not just doing the gig, but like just how you conduct yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because believe it or not, you know, we what we're on stage together for about two hours, two and a half hours, or whatever the case may be, um, depending on what it is, or a thirty minute set, hour minute set, uh, hour set. And then after that, we we still got to deal with you off stage, <laughs> you know. We still gotta. There's that. There's that factor. So it's like, man, are you even cool to be around? 
Are you that kind of, you know, and yeah. believe it or not, like artists, that stuff matters to them. It's Absolutely. like, man, you know, how are they as a person, man? Are they cool? Are they, you know what I'm saying? Are they corny? Are they, yeah. what, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? Because you could be I'm on a saying, two, need to two month ahead. tour. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Gotta spend time with these and people. You know, you know? what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a number of things, man. Just be a good person overall. Be true to yourself. You know what I'm saying? And one thing too, man, like, like be, stay firm on the, and on the person and on the moral stuff that you believe in, that you stand firm on. Like, don't, don't, don't get sidetracked. Don't, don't try to just fit in. Like, mm. no, be you, do your thing, you do your job and be you, be the best, best, best version of you. Absolutely. Keeping a gig, man, it's, this industry is really cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? This industry is mm. cutthroat. So here's what I learned. Don't think you're out here to be best friends with an artist. You can get the gig today and get off of it tomorrow. Okay. Don't get caught up in that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't oh, get God, caught up. You can have your feelings hurt. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know a few cats already in that seat. Mm. Like just, Hey man, that's just messed up, man. I thought we were better than that. No, no, <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. Yeah. Let's separate that. Separate. Yeah, you that. have to create a professional. It's so funny you said that, man, because I know so many people that 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 right there, they just want to be friends with everybody that they're. But there's a difference mm -hmm. between the, that friendship. If you have that, that's fine. That's cool. But then you have to have right. the professional relationship as well. And some exactly. people don't know how to separate the two or actually even mix the two. So that's super. Mm -hmm. That's super crucial, man, because some people's. Yeah, they're kind of doomed. And if it, yeah, they don't man. fix it, they don't fix that. You, you, mm -hmm. you know, you, you got another thing coming, man. So absolutely, exactly. 100%. So that's what I learned. I learned that, and that actually helps me to navigate into a situation and just know what it is. You know, um, you don't have to necessarily be okay with the operation, one hundred percent. You yeah. know, some things may not make sense. You may not have the answers to it. You may have a lot of questions. Hey, well, why is this? Well, why is why is payroll next Friday and not two mm -hmm. days from now? Why is hey, listen. Some things are left, just just leave it alone. It's beyond you. It's beyond your pay grade. You know what I'm saying? You're not here to settle it and right. find a solution. Just just do your job and go home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just absolutely. do your job and go home. Absolutely. Listen, don't be get caught up talking about one another or like, yo, like watch your mouth. Your tongue gets you in trouble. <laughs> Straight up, watch you know what your I'm mouth. saying? Even <laughs> if you know what's up, man, everything is not for everyone. Yeah. Everything's not for everyone. Like just keep your mouth shut, man. Just be cool. Stay out of it. Mm. Stay out of trouble if you can help it, yo. That's Think about it like this, okay? And I'm really about to ruffle some feathers. Think about it like this. I'm a bass player. Okay. You're a bass player. Right. We got your Damos. We got your Ethans. Mm -hmm. We got your Morgans, your Daryl Freemans, your Turtles, the Thad Johnsons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And all these other amazing bass players, Modern Neon. You think I'm out here to, like... You think it's gonna just be this perfect world to just be out here and just be best friends with everybody? Mm. We all after the same thing. Like, it's unfortunate, but yo, we have to understand that everybody here, if, if imagine everyone is thinking like I am, yeah, right? Or thinking like you are, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, there's that factor, like you have to be okay with, well, this individual is not really feeling me. Yeah, it's, it's all business. Yeah. You know, or that, you feel what I'm saying? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm just only touching it lightly because not too many people gonna speak on it, but I don't care, I'm gonna say it. Yeah. It's just, I, I know it because I felt that, I've gotten that heat before, mm. you know? I know some cats ain't rocking with me or because of the gig I'm on. I know some cats that felt like they were, they should have done the Fred tour and not me. I mean, come on, it, word gets around and it comes back to me. Wow. I know what's up, but it's okay, it's cool. No love lost, no nothing, I get it. You out here hustling too, just like me. Yeah. So. It's cool. It's you know what I'm saying. It's all good. It's 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 strictly business. You yeah, know what I'm saying. It's, 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 business, it's just man. it's just what it is. But you like you said, I I know some of the people like uh, you know, like you talk, you touch on that. Maybe skill wise, aren't the greatest, but the artist wants to work with them, just because of their bingo character. Bingo. You know what exactly. I mean. So you have yep. that. I mean, those kind of guys. You know, I whatever you know whatever that case is you're going to have those people regardless of what you do regardless sure. of any success you have i mean if you, I, I say if you don't have that you're not doing anything you know if you don't <laughs> you don't have people talking about you or hating on yeah. you or doing whatever you just don't have anything uh so that's a good point man you preaching man you having some facts here and so then, and let, me, and let me throw <laughs> this in here it's like i've had people say oh man man you don't get tired of making videos and stuff no i don't because my mind is set on the end goal like mm -hmm. i know what i'm doing yeah. Put it like this, 80% of my gigs came from social media. So why would I change that? Absolutely. Why, why would I? 
it, it worked for me. If it don't Absolutely. work for you, so be it. Teach their own. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. But that was also a discussion. It's like, don't knock it just because you don't want to be involved in that or you don't have the patience to do it. Don't knock it. You mm. get what I'm saying? If it's not for you, keep it moving. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it moving. It's like, yo, well, come on, man. Derek, you you really sit around and like edit these videos? Like you really, you really this? It's like, I'm, it's like, yo, bro, wait a minute. Yep. It works. <laughs> you got a whole subscription situation going on. You know what I'm saying? Come on, dog. Like, yeah. Yeah. it just is. And so I can't be wavered. I can't be bothered by that. I hear it all the time and it's okay. And I always stay consistent. And that's why I think God has blessed me the way he did. You know, I'm no, I'm on no high horse. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a forever student, you yeah. know, and I'm still doing this. Yeah. I'm still trying to be on an incline. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Still, so, so I say all that to say, man, look, just, just keep it, if whatever works for you, you know what I'm saying? Whatever works for you, do it at a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Go despite it. Block the noise if you have to. There you go. You know what I mean? You we're talking go. about trying to keep the gig, trying to keep the gig. Okay. Yeah. It's a couple things, you know what I'm saying? Be on time, like remain, like stay, learn the music, retain it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Be a good people person in that regard. I'm not saying you have to be in people's faces all the time. That's not what I'm saying. It's just, yo, just conduct yourself. Conduct yeah. yourself. Like yeah. look the part, you know, whatever you got to do, man. Like just be, just be professional. Just be yeah, cool. cross, cross the T's, telling? cross the T's, dot the I's. Question, mm -hmm. man. Um, This is all great stuff, man. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping people that are listening to this or slash watching this can, uh, it's listening and getting something out of this because some, some most yeah. times I say these discussions are almost more important than the learning the actual instrument. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you can have skillful musicians, you could have guys that are super, super talented, but they're not getting any gigs. So the question at hand was, how do you go ahead and how do you go about getting these gigs? You know, you have to be mm -hmm. able to uh, be that person. You have to be able to not be the troublemaker. You have to be able to be a person that somebody wants to work with. Uh, you have to go where the music is. You have to go where the music scene is. Uh, if you feel like a lot, I get this question a lot too. If you feel like you have to move, which nowadays I feel like you don't, uh, just because of social media, um, I, I still live in the same place and I, I've done what I've yeah. done. So, so, yeah. uh, so technically, but if you feel like you do, I know a lot of people just want to be on the music scene, uh, as far as physically, you know, being able to gig, please, you know, figure out what you want to do. Um, right. go to where the music is, uh, at the same mm -hmm. time, I, I, I had a question for you, man, when you first started off playing, because it's like, ever since I've known you, you've been a monster, right? So I'm assuming there was a time that you weren't. <laughs> you oh, know, man. It's the same thing yeah. for me. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think somebody starting off, especially starting off, they want to understand, you know, even not being aware of their physical uh, physical ability yet to be able to play or, or their skill where they are, to be able to put yourself out there and not even know where you are, where you stand with other people as far as your playing style. Have you had an uh, experience where you just weren't, good yet or that good i should say um how did you conquer that or go about doing that what was your first experiences like were you playing with a lot of people did you go to yeah, different places so, like so check this out i'm actually so i'm originally from new york i lived oh, really? in new york for 13 years i did not I, know that before. yes sir oh, the way, you were born york. you were born here i was born Are in you brooklyn kidding? no Why dead not? serious so i know the yonkers the nyack the bronx matter of fact bronx zoo wow. was a thing Kids growing up, every school year we were going there for a school trip. You know, yeah, like yeah. it was. I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with that system. Dude, I so I'm from, New York, from New York, and you know, I <laughs> grew up in an era where I was at church like every day of the week, mm. and it was always like, okay, we got this church coming in for revival, this church, and it was a lot of cats that can play around me. Mm. So as a kid, my dad was always like, hey, son, just stay here in the corner. And I was always one like, but I want to play. Right. I want to get up on that stage and play. And he's like, no, you can play at home. No, it's sit, cool. It's sit, all good. Sit, sit, sit so, your behind down. Right. Sit, just sit down and just learn. <laughs> learn from the old heads. It's right. cool. So one time, and again, bass is not my first instrument. I yeah. played drums and keys first. Nice. Yeah. I picked up bass at age 11. Of course, my attention span was like this. <laughs> so I stopped after, you know, a few months and I picked it back up at age 14. And then the rest is history. Nice. Now, um, 
when I started playing bass, you know, church and stuff, it was, it was, you know, it was cool. It was what it was. You know, I did my little one twos and, and little notes and stuff like yeah. that. The bass was ginormous on right. me. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Yeah. How it is. As a matter of fact, I have a pic that I posted as a TPT one time ago. It might be time to do it again this oh, week. Oh, God, man. But, I yo, it's the a same huge thing. bass, and I'm like a little kid on it. Yeah, like, I wasn't like, using them. Like a, lot of t like, a lot of kids nowadays, like, they use a micro, like, the little basses. Like, man, I wish I had that. I never I, had that. I, I used the wish, old man bass. I wish I had that, man. Right. I had this Me huge, too. long, I could barely <laughs> yeah. carry it, man. It was just ridiculous. I had a nah. nice, long PV bass or a Washburn, whatever it was. Yeah, <laughs> Washburn. It was crazy. Matter of <laughs> fact, Washburn 5-string was my very first 5-string. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yes, wow. sir. So, so yeah, I'm, I wasn't that good. And here's a story that's actually dear to me. Um, and I'm going to always share it because I'm we're still connected to this day. Mars Music used to be a thing. When it first came out, it was a big music store, huge music store. When I was living in Palm Beach County in Florida, I was a kid. My dad took me to the Mars Music and it was like the candy shop. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, this is crazy. Um, so I went to the bass department. Yeah. And then of course I'm just, you know how you pick up a bass. You don't plug it in, you're just fooling around. You just fooling around. Right. Somebody fool walked around. up and said, hmm, you're doing all of that. I wonder if you can really play. Can you plug it up? Let's see. It was one of the guys that worked there. Okay. His name is Ron Banks. They okay. call him Buttermilk. Okay. What I didn't know is Buttermilk was a beast. Okay. <laughs> so he picked up a four string bait <laughs> and went to work. Okay. So from that, it changed my mind. It changed, like my perspective changed. Yeah. I was like, yo, I need to play bass. I need to be a bass player. Yeah. The thing about that story though, is we exchanged numbers. My dad did, not me. My dad exchanged numbers right, and stuff, right, right. called in it. Never got in touch with him. He ignored calls, text message, phone calls. Oh, wow. So, okay, cool. I went into the woodshed, just kept doing it, learned it myself. And that's why I always share people. People ask me, well, did you get lessons? No. Right. I've never gotten lessons. The day when I wanted to get lessons with him, he pretty much ignored the calls and stuff. So a couple of years later, I step into a guitar center and I'm playing. Somebody taps me in the shoulder. It's like, yo, you sound great, man. I remember who he is. He don't remember me. Mm. So I'm like, yo. He was like, man, you good, you sound good. So he picked up a bass and then I don't know, my ears changed, you know, I got better. So he didn't sound as good as I thought he did. <laughs> you get what I mean? That type right. of thing. He was cool. No, no knock on him. Like that's, that's my guy. Like he's, he's amazing at what he does, but my ears changed. Yeah. So then it was like, wow. but I'm, I said, I'm a beast now. <laughs> so I was like, and so I, I literally ate the flashback right there. So I was like, you don't remember me. I reached out to you. I wait, 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 you. wait, wait. This was that the was same him. guy. That was the same oh, guy. Shoot. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. So that's why the story is so profound because wow. I'm playing. He taps me on the shoulder, Derek. He taps wow. me, and I look. I'm like, and automatically those thoughts came back. Like, Yo. this this dude ain't respond. He ain't call my dad back. You know what I'm saying? Like, bump him. That's what I thought. And he, he and so I, I literally was, we had a crowd, you know, they're like, yo, this man, like, you, don't you don't remember me. He was like, what you mean? What you talking about? I'm like, man, I met you at Mars Music a few years ago. Yeah. You know, I wanted the lessons from you, but you never ignored, you never answered your call. Yeah. He's like, oh, wow. I was like, yeah. I said, but now I'm actually glad. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm actually glad because this built something in me, like the, 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 the the desire to, the I stayed up three, four o'clock in the yeah, morning, yeah, yeah. learning, like learning music, learning yeah. everything under the sun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that grind is with me to this day. It's like, yo, I'm, I'm grateful. So sometimes God will orchestrate Come on. things, Come on. you know what I'm saying? In a different uh, right. fashion. And so anyway, all that to say, oh man, um, I haven't always been at this level that I'm at. You know, this is something that happened overnight. This is not no instant situation like this is years of work yeah, yeah, yeah. that i put in people ask me well how do you develop this slap tone or this it's from years of it oh absolutely i'm just i'm just honest like it's from years of it so my no beginning overnight. stages was definitely rocky and stuff you know what i mean yeah. but um yeah i think that those three or four o'clock in the morning on on like buff buffering because yeah. i didn't have high speed in there it was dial up <laughs> You know what right, I'm saying? So right, can you right. imagine two right. hours waiting for this right. thing to really load? Right. Okay. You know, yeah, I remember, and, uh, I remember the, all of that. So the struggle question, was real. Question, man. So putting in the work, right? That's what we're talking about. So mm -hmm. that's half the that's half the battle. Actually putting in the work, somebody to get somebody to recognize you. Um mm -hmm. the places where you go 
What do you think or what are your thoughts on church being a place to be able to connect with musicians? Do you feel like that's a like a super underrated place to be for somebody trying to be discovered or so for somebody trying to, to learn from people or even like you said, your story, even like a music store where somebody just randomly, you know, comes in. Mm -hmm. I, I've had those stories where I'm just testing stuff out and people are like, OK, I want your number for a gig. Like correct you better, or can yeah. you be in my band? Like I get that all the time. Every time I plug up and start playing in a music store or something like that, that happens all the time. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I feel like it is like that can be another potential yeah. place. But as far as even gospel, like church being in that vicinity with all of those crazy musicians, I say some of the craziest musicians come out of church. Correct. Um, yeah. I, I believe it. What do you feel about that being a place to be able to network? Yeah, I feel that because a lot of our peers come from church. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of our, a lot of the guys that we know, like they've played in church and stuff. And so was, that's, that's the inevitable. Like that, that's, 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 that's it. Like it's, it's, it definitely worked. It's definitely groomed a lot of the musicians that we love today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and I'm not necessarily, I'm not necessarily saying that that's the cheat code, but it definitely plays a part. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It definitely helps to be around guys. Like I always say this, You'll only be as big as the pond you swim in. Guys, True. those listeners listening, listening to this interview, this 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 discussion, like, yo, if the cats around you, if you can't learn from them, if the cats around you aren't on what you're on, or better, like in that sense, like, what are you gonna pull from? Who's who's imparting in you? Right. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be you'll only be as big as a pond you swim. You know, they'll say that, like. A fish can't grow in a small aquarium. Right, like right, if you right. know the everything about that that species, that particular fish, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna sit up here and put a shark. First of all, a shark shouldn't be a pet. All right, <laughs> right. let's go. That's a different discussion. <laughs> right, but anyway, right. you're not gonna put that right. in a small aquarium. It can't grow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put them in a, a huge so I say that to say, like, yo, you need to start looking at your surroundings. If you feel like you're not going anywhere, you're not growing, you're not if the, you're not evolving right then look at who's around you absolutely like look at who's around you i'm not yeah. saying you need to cast them away no 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 it's just you need to care that much about where you're headed absolutely to make the necessary adjustments in your life around you you get what i'm saying 100%. so the the move from new york to florida changed my life yeah it's a, it put me in a pool of different thinking different types of musicians, you know what I'm saying? And it, it put me to a place where, yo, you gotta level up, Frank, if you wanna if you wanna stay consistent, if you wanna, you know, be amongst the the, the top dogs and stuff, it's like you gotta level up. So I had to go in the woodshed. I had to go practice, play, and 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 do what I needed to do to be that guy. Like, I couldn't be like, okay, cool, and have my nose up thinking like, oh yeah, I got it. I'm I done made it. Yeah. No. It's too many cats. It's too many of us out here, Derek. Yeah. It's too many of us out here doing it doing it better the little kids i mean come on man you Absolutely. know what i'm saying they killing the game so yeah, like gotta grind that much harder to, yeah we have to we have to do that man yeah gotta yeah. grind that much so harder. much there's so much that can be said on this topic it's so important Derek. oh god it's yeah. so important man yeah. it's more than just playing or sitting around learn a song or two or whatever like that like it's, it's yeah well that's why i wanted to um to have this discussion uh with you um, hold on. I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, yeah, I wanted to have this discussion with you. I don't, I thought I lost you for a second, but I think you're back on. Um, yeah. but All yeah, right. it's super important. And I, I felt like I couldn't answer this with just like, okay, yeah, just do this. Yeah. Just go here and you'll be straight or True. go here and you'll mm -hmm. be discovered. You know what I mean? Like, so, because there's so much more that's impacted in this question, um, or in this topic, because you have to figure out, okay, you got to have the drive, right? You got to be able uh -huh. to enhance yourself musically. You have to better yourself and your abilities musically. You have to be able to have the determination to go to where the music is or to go to where the opportunity is. Sometimes it's just not going to pick you out out of nowhere. How, how's anybody going to call you when they don't know about you? So putting yourself out there, having the courage to put yourself out there, using the platforms, using social media, using going to music stores, going to churches, going to concerts, going to mm -hmm. uh, sheds, going to live jam sessions, going to open mic nights, mic nights, all of that all stuff, of that. man. Yeah. So it's a mm -hmm. lot that comes into it. It's like creating on top of creating those connections and having the character to be able to say, 
Oh, oh, yeah, I like I like that dude. I, I like that. Maybe I'll call him. He plays bass. Maybe I'll just call. Maybe I'll just try him out. That's the other. That's the right. other thing. Some people might not even know how you play, but your personality and your character can just come off to where they're like, okay, well, he's a good. He's a good guy. Let me just see. You know what I mean? Like just for Correct. a tryout thing. Mm -hmm. um, that happened to me where somebody caught called me for a studio gig just to try out. Uh, they had a couple of bass players really just just trying them out and. Um, I got the call just from personally just talking to them yeah. and just saying, Hey, I play bass. So you never, you never know. So you have to be a, a, you have to be willing to be able to put yourself out there. Um, not only to get the big dog calls, but just, uh, just to get those opportunities to get you to those Period. calls. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like embrace that process. Like don't think that you are just about to start learning basketball and you're going to dunk next week. Yeah. Like, no, 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 let's let's start. Let's work. Let, work on setting picks. Work on a simple <laughs> crossover, right to left, left to right. right. How to defense, like how to set, you know, box out. Like learn little things and, yeah. and, and work your way there. And in the meantime, work on your vertical. Like yeah. ver work on your vert. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want to dunk and stuff. Like it's like enjoy the process. I have a student that I teach and he constantly asks me, okay, yeah, but how, but how, but how? I'm like, those, qu those hows that you're asking, <laughs> is you putting in that time to constantly, you, you gotta put in that time. You gotta constantly work on this. Yeah, you gotta it's not gonna happen it. overnight. Yeah, There's no cheat code. Like, yeah. no, there isn't. Yeah. There's no pill that you take that tomorrow you're gonna be like this extraordinary phenom on base. No, yeah. there's no, there's nothing like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at least yeah. I didn't hear of it. No, nope. you know what I'm saying. So not at all. it's just you know, just due diligence, man. Just putting in that work, man. Don't rush it. Don't rush that process. That yeah. process is just important. That's your story. Yeah. Like, don't don't rush it. Let it be what's gonna be. Yeah. You know. The crazy thing you have more of a. I, I think more nowadays you have more. There's, I wouldn't say competition, but there's more people getting themselves out there. But you have a you have so many more platforms to be able to use to your advantage. And I, I feel mm -hmm. like it would be easier nowadays to be able to create relationships and create, you know, connections. And I've had I've had connections with people that I've never even met before. And it's just, you know, people that I've looked up to for years um, just through social media that I never thought I would even come in contact with. Ooh, so yeah. you just you um, you already know that you, you know the story. So Correct. it's like it, it's it's amazing what it can do for you. So I would just say take advantage of every single opportunity and go for it. Go to it. You know what I mean? And um, back yeah. then, before it was more physical. Now it's more digital, and that's cool and that's fine. I still recommend both ways, just so people can you know get a feel for right. you. Um, sure. But yeah, man, Frank, you 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 spit out some definitely spit out some nuggets, man. And I definitely appreciate Bro, you man, coming I, on, man. This I is appreciate crazy. that. This I, is I love to be able to assist and help, man. It's, it's something that I actually can say I didn't really get a whole lot of growing up, mm, and so. You know, like the era that I grew up in was kind of like, you just kind of got shunned to the side. Like it was just like, yeah, no, just smooth to the side. It's like, okay, but I want to play. Well, we'll get there. And <laughs> yeah. we, never, we never got there. Yeah. So thankfully my dad, my dad, like one of my, like, man, like one of my greatest ins in inspirations, like he definitely taught me how to just remain steadfast and just, hey, don't worry, your time will come. Yeah. And there's more stories, man. I've done a couple of base competitions that definitely put me through the ringer and that helped me to be the person that I am now, you know, mm -hmm. because like I had to battle fear. Oh, like I had God. to battle like, yeah, so that's much. A whole, it's like, that's a whole nother, like yeah. the, it's like, like the, the, the insecurities, like, man, oh, do I, do I yeah. even have what it takes? Like, I don't know. It's like for the first time, like, I feel like I'm, I've met my match. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, yeah. and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you got to push past, push past that point to be able to get over to the other side because you don't know what's on the other side unless you go there. Exactly. So that's exactly. a whole, that's a whole other, that's a whole other, you know, um, direction that you can go in. Like I said, a base competition. Like, f find out what's going on in your city. Find out what's going on. Yeah, other what's happening? Push yeah, yourself. Man. I mean, that might be scary as as ever, but. You know, I was terrified at first, you know, playing and or even speaking in front of people, man. It was a no, worse. I, you. I remember so, you said something about that. You spoke on that man, before. Or look, how I you talk spoke about, that about how you don't want to show your face. Oh, God, man. Remember that? Was, that? Yeah. That was I remember so, your old videos. Yeah. When you look at your old videos, yeah, my this is all we see. We see this this Derek Bennett right here. Right, right, <laughs> right. The ghost. <laughs> the right. We don't see nothing else. <laughs> the headless bases, right. <laughs> yes, so, sir. Yo, so that's, a, that's huge, man. Not only that, but just overcoming the courage and overcoming, not just having the courage to overcome come that and you know putting yourself out there is huge man like 
that's that's all a part of it too. Um, and, and I can go so many different ways with this. Even right. learn, learning right. the instrument and being able to try different things out that you've learned, and you being too scared to try them out because you don't know if you're going to execute them. But hey, you would never know unless you unless you try that. Exactly. So it, exactly. it goes hand in hand too. So um, creating you know relationships, networking, getting out there, it's just it's just a fear maybe you have to overcome. Um, I think that's really what it boils down to and just having the courage yeah. to do it and actually having the character and just making sure you all of your, you know, ducks are in a row uh, when it comes to that. Right. But yeah, that I, I think ultimately, I think we pretty much summed it up to where have your, yeah, have your ability to play, get better, always enhance, always be a right, student for sure. and hustle your behind off. Like, go to where you think you need to go it, it locally doesn't matter yeah, it's if you what have I call to drive develop, somewhere uh, yeah absolutely. develop face time with people you know what i'm saying absolutely. like absolutely um you know Super be personable important. in a sense like to, like start important. working on that if that's if you were somebody that was always closed in now nah, but develop that because imagine this and I, i'll say this there's an og here in this city right i've worked with him for like two years straight doing a lot of different gigs i mean like nice little extra income you know nice little gigs and I mean, his talk game is so on point. <laughs> but he taught me, he's like, man, Frank, I can I can work my way into any gig. I'm yeah. like, I see that. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> literally, like he'll be yeah. like, I'll be right back, Frank. He go and do a little talking and he'll be like, hey, I got you open on October 11th, October 13th. And, and I'm like, dude, how'd you do that? Right, right, right. But that's because he knows the the power behind Gift of gap, conversation, man. FaceTime. Yeah. If somebody you'll you'll have successors tell you that you know what I'm saying it's like the if or a salesman all I need is a small window of opportunity to talk to you yeah. and and sell you this product or yeah. or tell you about it because that's ultimately what you're doing like you're you're and selling that's, that's your, much, we're your, that much close to a to a win absolutely you know? you're selling yourself really to say yeah. like okay I, I'm you're selling yourself but you're sh not trying to be obnoxious about it you're trying to show what you have versus being right. you know that person but at the same time. The whole overall goal is like, yeah, I want people to be able to say, I want to work with him. So you are exactly. selling, you're selling yourself in a way, in a, in a, in a sense. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're just a little bit more prepared with it. But, but yeah, man, exactly. that's that's this this all good stuff, man. It's so good, man. I appreciate hope, the call. It, appreciate yeah, the man. Call. Absolutely. Yeah, hopefully, no, everybody got something out of this, man, and uh, uh, hopefully answered your question. And I, it's I just I want people to not a lot of people, you know kind of stray away from watching these talks, especially because we don't have bases in our hands and I already know how that goes. But right. these, I'm telling you, man, these discussions are sure, the I guess most, we'll show them a base there, here. There, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a thumbnail, right? <laughs> right, right, so, right. right. <laughs> so, but yeah, like it, these discussions are the most uh, important to me. You know, they are. Um, they are. I asked, somebody asked me, I think it, it might've been my wife the other day, you know, if I had a chance to sit down with my favorite bass player, uh, what would you like? What would you do? I said, I'll, I don't even want to play. I just want to talk to him. Like, I just want to have I just want to, you know, what I mean, like, I just want to sit down yeah. and have a discussion and hear what they have to say. You know, I can learn from whatever videos of them that I have, you know, I can I can try to get from them. And but I want to hear them. I want to talk to them like that is the most important stuff to me, because changing yeah, your mindset. No, I agree. I, I had a discussion with Hadrian one time when I first met him, changed my whole perspective, never sat down and played together. Never. We eventually we did, but his, that discussion that I had with him was just like, wow. That literally changed my whole perspective in my mind, and lit almost changed my life as far as it, you know, going to you know bass playing. You know, when you want to go there. So those, is, I'm telling you, man, these discussions right here. Yeah. If this is yes. what you're longing to do, now, if you're a, a just a basement player, you just want to fiddle around at home and don't really care about playing out or doing anything fine you can skip this video or do skip this podcast whatever but mm -hmm. if this is what you long to do this is the stuff you need to understand this is the stuff that you need to you know to sit down and and say to yourself like okay what kind of person am i what do i need to do what am i lacking what do i need to go where are right. the where, where are these people you know, I, t I talk about the time we talked about it earlier when we when I went to Nam. Like I went to Nam, like on not like when I tell you I had no like when I got there I had no money. Like I had to stay with family and 
eat whatever they had at the house. Like no, yeah, I, I, I went there, I went there with nothing, uh, and people don't even know that. And I was pretty, no, I was kind of pretty known uh, before then. But even still, I just said, "There's something missing. I got to go here." And from there became came so many different opportunities. Man, it's not, it's not even funny. Um, yeah. So I knew I was doing it for a reason, but I wanted to go where these people. I didn't move. But I just wanted to go and create some opportunities for myself. If I didn't do that, um, I probably wouldn't be in the place that I'm in right now. And sometimes even if that trip, all you got was some inspiration. Oh, God, yeah. As, you, as creatives, we need that. Absolutely. We need inspiration. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I, say that, I, I, I say that all the time, man. When I get the question. I'll... I'll because we could talk all day about this and I'm right, you know, right, going, right. Off, you know, I'm going <laughs> off subject and everything. But people ask me, you know, how can I, you know, I feel like I'm stagnant. This is a question I get all the time. I feel like I'm stagnant. I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. I hit this plateau, blah, blah, blah. I said, go listen to some people that you like. Go listen to your inspirations. Like I do that all the time. It don't have to be basis. Like I'll sit down, I'll yeah. scroll past and I'll listen to one of your videos. I'm like, dude, what the heck was that? I'm like, all right, let me, let me, yeah, I let, do, me man. let me figure listen, out what this dude just, all the, no, <laughs> you know, yeah, all you the know time. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, so that's super important to be able to do. You can scroll and there's so many different opportunities. Like you have to gain inspiration from somewhere. I'll watch a Corey Henry video or something like him playing keys. Like, oh God. yeah, I watch a uh, Jacob Collier. Like, I'm like, dude, what? Okay. Let me fix. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's so many things to help you try to, bridge that and I, that's happening for me every day as long as i've been playing as crazy as that is mm -hmm. and sounds but i it still happens to me every day so get out there l listen to different people uh i don't want to go too, too yeah. i don't go too off subject but we can we can come back and talk about that. No, <laughs> talk about that whole thing <laughs> in another 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 time but frankie yes, b sir. man i appreciate you um tell everybody where you can be found and i'll put your information on the screen anyway okay, yeah. let, let everybody man, know what you're doing now i appreciate you Derek. um yeah i'm on social platforms you can find me on instagram at Frank B Day, real easy. F R A N K B D A Y. Um, I'm Frank Bruno on Facebook, and I'm being more active on there too because I've had, I have a lot of people on there, so you can definitely find me on there. I definitely put some nice nuggets on awesome. there. Uh, Frank Bruno on there. I also have a YouTube channel. Literally, you just could type in Frank Bruno, you'll find me on there too. So awesome. definitely, awesome. just try to cater to everyone in as best as possible. Uh, so yeah. Follow me and uh, let's let's chat, man. Boom, beautiful.